Dear Diary, Once I was outside the safety of the town walls, I took in all the wonders of terminally ill field. Wow, what a great day to be alive! Naturally, I found a big old dead tree that a small child had vandalized. When Tattle caught sight of the crude chalk drawing, she suddenly remembered how she met the Skull Kid. Even though they had only been acquainted a mere week, Tattle's addled brain would only allow her to recall glimpses of her first meeting with the Skull Kid. While traveling through some rough weather, Tattle and Tail stopped to rest in a hollowed-out turd. There they found the Skull Kid, who had just been banished by his friends for being the biggest dickhole a living being could possibly be. Entranced by his central body gyrations, the three quickly became the best of friends. The day seemed to pass in a blur of giggles and games, until the Skull Kid savagely attacked the mask salesman and claimed Majora's mask as his own, finally gaining the evil power he had always dreamt of, and also covering his ugly duck face. I mean, with a name like Skull Kid, I thought there would at least be a scary skull under there. Nope, he looks like a broom that some blind guy at the Lions Club made. Around here, I thought, huh, might be fun to be a plant again. Boy, howdy was I wrong. Fuck me. Diary, this means someone at Nintendo was in a meeting like, and then Plant Link screams out in agony. Kids will love it. If the slime balls and bats weren't indications enough the swamp was a shithole, I met a swamp man whose family tree didn't branch, and a condescending sign that said, free spring water. Fuck you, I ain't drinking swamp water. What kind of Willy Wonka establishment is this? I took a gamble and went inside a treehouse and was greeted by a burly aviator who sweet-talked me into entering the pictograph contest. But to enter, first I had to take a boat cruise and then fill in the provided blanks with my social security and bank account numbers. Easy peasy. Except the cruise ticket window was empty and a ghost told me to visit the Magic Hacks potion shop. So I fucking walked to the potion shop, climbed up the ladder, opened the door, and then Link's balls shot up into his body. Because who was standing behind the motherfucking counter? Kotaki. As in Kome and Kotaki, Ganondorf surrogate mothers. See, this is the problem with reusing every single asset. You can tell me these are different characters, but my testicles remember. Turns out these two really were just a pair of benign witches, but Kome had packed her bags with bread and peanut butter and ran away from home and she was the only one that knew how to sell tickets for the boat cruise. So I had to follow an albino monkey into the woods of mystery, so I could find an old lady who tried to kill me in a previous game, so I could go on a boat cruise and win a photo contest. Why, you ask? Because the swamp is a shithole! When I found Kome, she was lying on the ground, about to be ripped to pieces by the monkey family. I chased them off and then pulled out Macarena and tried to use the Song of Healing on the injured Kome. As I played the last notes, she slapped the ocarina out of my hand and demanded that only a concoction of cocaine, methadone, and Hawaiian punch, along with Sugar Ray's greatest hits, would do. So I had to go all the way back to the potion shop, get her medicine, and then come all the way back to give it to her. As soon as she drained the bottle, she hopped on her broom, shouted, Thanks, sucker!" and zipped away without a backward glance. Okay, it's cool, I guess... I'll see you at the tour center, or whatever. Immediately after I left, I was stopped by the dang monkey family because some cousin's brother was lost in the Dooku Palace, and the water all had been poisoned. Oh my god, I am so busy! How am I supposed to win the pictograph contest when everyone keeps sending me on chores? The to-do list just keeps piling up! I barely made it back to the ticket window, and when I did, the free swamp cruise wasn't nearly as relaxing as it should have been definitely not worth the energy I spent to get this damn thing. Right when I had settled down and tried to take a few photos, the boat rammed into a giant octa rock, killing it. Yeah, fuck you, wildlife. Preserving nature's wonders is not on the agenda today. The boat dropped me off at the Deku Palace where carnivorous plants danced around a fire, offering their horticulture god a fresh monkey sacrifice. The scrubs claimed the monkey did away with their princess, while the monkey claimed the princess was taken by a monster. It was a classic they-said-he-said situation, so who's to really know what the truth was? Since the monkey and Deku scrub problem seemed to work itself out, I decided to head back to the tourism center and claim my pictograph contest prize. However, I was shocked and disappointed to learn my prize was another free boat ride. 
Honestly, that sounded terrible. I'd rather have the money. So I took my five rupees and headed back to town because this swamp was a shithole. Until next time, diary. Your friend, Brittany Saturn. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. If I should call you up, invest a dime, and you say you belong to me, lose my mind. Imagine how the world could be. So very fine, so happy together.